Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to have a really simple kind of makeup tutorial and I'm first starting off with my brows. I'm using the Benefit Cut Brow and I think this is shade 5 and this shade is so so good for my brows. It just really helps to see my brow hair still and it makes it look really natural and I don't know, I just really like this. And it's super quick and easy to use. I haven't done a voiceover in so long but anyways. <laughs> This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, obviously, in Tan Sand, and I'm just using this to carve out my brows and clean them up nicely. And this is just so satisfying, I love watching like clips of people just carving out their brows, it's just so good. Now I'm grabbing some of my Benefit 24 hour brow setter, this is like the best brow gel ever and as you can see like it really looks natural, the brows, you can really see them each brow hair and it just looks nice and fluffy. I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost SPF Moisturiser, I really love the Hydro Boost range, I definitely recommend it to you guys. I'm now putting some of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, the original shade and yeah, just putting this on because my lips are dry as hell. And now I'm using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 9. It's honestly one of my favourite foundations at the moment, like my top foundation. The shade is really good for my winter shade right now. I'm super pale than usual. And I'm using this Eco Tools sponge. Oh my god, this is literally the closest thing to the Beauty Blender, but so much more affordable. Like, it's super soft. Obviously, the shape is not the same, but it's so, so soft. It bounces and it blends amazingly. I've been literally using this every day. It's so good. But yeah. If you want something affordable compared to the Beauty Blender but it's very very similar then I definitely recommend this sponge and also in the pack you get a little tiny version for your concealer which is always a bonus so yeah definitely recommend this for sure. I'm now going to move on to my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealers. I'm using the shade 310 and 330 just mixing these under my eyes, my forehead and the bridge of my nose and again going in with my damp Eco Beauty um, sponge to blend it all out. I do have a review on the Fenty Beauty concealers and powder, unfortunately I didn't have the greatest experience with the powder but the concealers are really really nice especially when you use them with different powders like I um, have tried it with various powders that I love and they seem to work super, super fine so yeah. Also if I do sound really really weird I think I'm coming down with the flu like slowly so please mind my voice and I was gonna get worse but it's all good it's all good <laughs> Right, after spending a good amount of time blending, I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty matchstick in the sw in the shade Suede. Oh my goodness, I can't speak when I do voiceovers. Isn't that just so typical of me? But I'm just going to put this on the perimeter of my face, my cheeks and the hollows of my cheeks, but um, on the side of my nose to kind of contour. And this shade is so nice at bronzing up my skin. In summertime, it's not the best shade, so I use espresso with it, but in winter, the shade suede is good enough and it's such a beautiful like colour, I absolutely love it. Now I'm using the Nip and Fab Cream Blush in Watermelon, again another nice product to use. I've been absolutely obsessed with blush lately and I never thought that would be me, but you know, I, I'm the one that said I would never fill in my brows ever, but look at me now. <laughs> I'm using the Kat Von D Loose Setting Powder just to set everything um, in place, mostly the centre of my face because my skin's super super dry lately, it gets like that in winter time. So I'm just doing underneath my eyes, the centre of my face, a bit on my forehead because I get a little bit shiny there. Just blending the nose contour a little bit. Now I'm using a bit of bronzer just on my eyelids to kind of add a bit of shadow. I'm not too fussed about my eyes, to be honest. But also brushed off the excess powder as well, sorry. My computer just lagged there, but it's okay. I'm going to keep it like that. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'm just blending some bronzer into my... Um, Eyes. I'll write down which one I use, it's the NYX Matte Bronzer. By the way, I'm obsessed with my AirPods, like they're with me all the time, they're so convenient, I can't even tell you. I'm now going to use my Roller Liner by Benefit, I think these are new, but I'm using the brown one. 
these are so so nice i did do like little mini instagram videos for this whole makeup tutorial on my instagram so make sure to follow me on there if you want to check my little videos out but this liner is so so good it's so precise and like i said i've said this like a hundred times but i don't like pen eyeliners but this one is so convenient to use I, like like can you see that it's so, so it just glides on and so pigmented as well i haven't tried the black one yet but i need to give it a go i know it'll be really good but the brown one has just been nice for every day so i did the same on the other eye then for mascara i'm using the roller lash mascara by benefit i used to love this mascara so much um but yeah just popping a bunch of that on my top and lower lashes They were so kind to give me like a really cute handheld mirror that I used like in all my videos. So convenient. So if you get like mascara on your lids, just take a cotton bud, wait for the mascara to dry and just literally wipe it off, it comes straight off. I'm using the Makeup Forever Fusion Bronzer in 35i and I'm just using this to set my cream contour and bronze up a little bit more I make sure that my the perimeter of my face is really bronzed I know I've got a really small forehead but I still like the look of having the outer part of my forehead um, darker than the center I just like that it just looks nice now I'm using my one of my favorite highlighters at the moment it's the NYX uh, duo highlighter in grind I use a lighter one but it's so good but this is limited edition and I think it's on sale on cult beauty at the moment but yeah, it's really, really nice, especially for like a tan skin tone. I'm going to pop some of my Kayali fragrance in vanilla. Oh my God, been using this every day. It's so, so nice. So sweet. But a little bit of muskiness. I don't know. It's just so nice. So yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more voiceover tutorials. And I'll see you guys in my next one.